everybody. I have some exciting news. A couple weeks ago, I did a distance energy healing psychic wisdom session for a client who is in the third trimester of pregnancy and wanting to prepare her body for the delivery process, was having some difficulty in the third trimester, hoping maybe the baby would be born earlier. All right, so the original due date was actually the 25th of August hoping the baby would be born on the 13th of August because it was around that time we did the session. Well, now is in actual labor. Today is the 29th of August. So it's very, very exciting, difficult process to deliver a baby. So here I am. I'm going to be tuning into her energy field. She's actually in the process of, of delivery. So I don't know at what point um, where she's at other than an it's labor so it's painful there are contractions and baby's gonna be born some point today is what it sounds like so i'm pretty excited for pretty excited to do this session so i'm gonna relax i'm gonna get tuned in and let's see what i can do to help to help her in this process And she's very open to sharing. So any other mothers out there, women who are going to be having babies soon or just curious about alternative support for the delivery process, um, she wanted me to share the session. And so we can kind of be a part of this experience with her and support any mothers who might be interested in this too. Um, if you are interested in exploring a session, you can do so at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. And I'm going to get started now. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay. So the first scene, a little surprising, but we're underwater like a submarine. There's water all around me. I mean, I feel like I am submerged in water. There seems to be a lack of breath. There's no sensation of drowning, but there needs to be support here when it comes to breathing. I'm just going to take this slow because that's also part of the process is relaxation, de-stressing as much as possible through the process, oxygen, hydration, So what I'm doing is literally just, we're winding the energies down, we're relaxing the energies down, supporting the physical body through what is the sensation of de-stressing. All right, there's confusion going on here as well. I'm talking to God and I say, okay, so we're surrounded in all this water. I can tell it's not like a panic scenario, but there's not enough breath. I can tell about that. The water seems to be comforting and appropriate, but I seem to be lost in the water and things are a little bit tight, needs to wind down. What do you recommend that I do next? Okay, we're going to create the sensation of being grounded even underwater. So we're picking a place and underwater, there's actually some green mosses, green plants growing, um, really intense blue water here seems like lots of uh, swimming, you know, fish, different aquatic life here. And we're creating kind of like an anchor under the water. A sensation of being anchored and um, grounded in a space literally underwater. <sighs> so as a human being, when we try to go underwater, we usually um, bounce right back to the top because we're full of air. But there's something appropriate about the underwater scene. And then being grounded underwater seems to be stabilizing the body. And I'm specifically focusing on the root and the sacral chakras. A 
Okay, we're still working on this grounding process underwater. What's interesting is I see your aura is kind of like a banana being peeled. And you seem to have like an octopus has eight legs. You have these um, like peeled layers of your aura and there's what are like eight legs to your aura and they're golden. Okay, they're like golden peels that are kind of opening up, opening outward. This is really painful because it is it is in a weird in a weird way there is kind of a ripping sensation. I don't know if it's the aura or it's a physical process. Right now just continuing to create relaxation. Um, grounding, comfort. I feel like we're moving into a much bigger part of the process. I can sense that, but I don't know how to um, explain or define it any more than where, where we're at right now. You keep wanting to lift up um, to the top of the, the surface of the water feels like uh, the ground is cracking in one portion. Again, your aura is kind of open out so that the front of your body is kind of open and exposed and your aura is kind of opening outward like the legs of an octopus. And as the ground kind of shakes and cracks and it moves away from the front of you, there's a big something down here. Again, I feel like in the mind, there's a bit of conflict going on and we need, I'm telling you that we're going to focus here on the process of giving birth and I know it, it's traumatizing. I know it is traumatizing. It's shocking how painful it can be and it takes time. It takes sometimes too long depending on your situation, but it can feel like it takes too long. We're going to focus that everything is actually moving comfortably. It is moving correctly. You're safe in the experience. You're supported in the experience. I'm putting this here into your mind, okay? You're crying. You're scared. I hug you and I tell you I know it's scary. Because it's so painful. I think it's the pain that's scary. And then you're going to have to push a baby out of there. <laughs> that's kind of creepy, you know. <laughs> it's kind of weird. But it's not really. It's, it's natural, you know. It's natural. You're crying and you're releasing fear. <sighs> and it kind of comes out in a... It, what looks like a stinky yellow substance it's kind of coming out into this blue water and I tell you, you're doing a really great job thank you for sharing that with me and I create the sensation that I'm all around you so there's you're not alone at, at any part of the process and I guarantee you're not alone at all in this process <sighs> But energetically, you're not alone either. <sighs> really helps to have that kind of comfort. <sighs> you're a lot more grounded now, actually. You're not, um, the panic is relaxing or subsiding here in the mind. I feel there is more breath coming in. Still need to work on that. But there's something else I need to be looking at and how this ground has moved and there's this kind of heavy lurking thing. Also, I'm very curious about your aura having the golden arms. It's, it's almost like it got peeled, it peeled in eight different places and it's just sort of exposed outward. Looks kind of pretty, you look like an underwater pretty golden plant, but something seems strange about it as well. I'm just curious. Um, so I'm gonna ask God here, what's the next approach? Do I check out what that heavy thing is there? Do we look at the aura? And what do you recommend that we focus on next? 
Okay, that heavy thing is still mysterious because we're going to focus on what I can only describe as the process of actually delivering the baby because we're kind of looking in that direction, okay? And you are anchored, you're underwater, you're a lot more relaxed and comfortable, you're more clear-minded, you're more, um, I guess, balanced in this process. And it's hard to be, I mean, as, as balanced as you can be, but you do feel way more comfortable than you did. So I am touching your, what can only be described as your uterus, okay, birth canal area. There's a lot of, I see many, the faces of many women and lots of tears. Again, lots of air bubbles and the faces are going up to the surface. <sighs> And I see your son is here. And I know that you've named him Gabriel. There's not uh, much in the way of communication other than I feel a physical baby and I'm just um, touching his body, his head, his heart, his, um, I'm touching his being in a gentle way, as well as touching your body to help your body feel at ease to help your body feel comfortable, to help your body in the delivery process, the birthing process. Again, I see images of women and women in tears and pain. And this energy is starting to linger. It's not bubbling up and releasing at the surface. Um, something kind of breaks. I don't know what that means, but uh, how would I explain it? There's a jolt to the whole scene and there's a, like I'm pulling on something really hard and the whole scene is moved by this, okay? It's a bit startling. It's almost like a, a very fast and intensive uh, earthquake <laughs> just happened. And it's one big tremor, okay? And I see that I'm in a ship and uh, I hear kind of plates and spoons and dishes rattling in a kitchen inside of a, um, a ship, like a, a big boat on the ocean. And there's people trying to steady all the dishes as there's this major rumbling going on. And I tell the people to don't worry about it. They say, no, we need to keep these dishes safe. We need to make sure these dishes don't shatter. We've got to keep things in place. I, I simply say, but you're not real, and these dishes aren't real either, and there's no responsibility that you have in what you perceive your existence is about. I just, they just disappear. My guides say that their purpose is to create an interpretation this could be like a labor pain and how the body's trying to um, handle that labor pain is trying to do it delicately trying to do it safely trying to do it without anything getting um, broken or hurt i i say though that energetically I feel like there's so much more that we could focus on with this space that is going to um, help the process along beneath the surface of those faces and what they have to say. But apparently your body just needs someone to talk to right now about this. And the only way to talk to me about it is through this image. So I sit down and I snap my fingers and I hold all the dishes in place and I say, you're going to be okay, body. Look at, I made sure that the dishes didn't fall. Not even in this tremor, nothing is shaking. 
the body says, but then why do I feel it shaking? Why do I feel concern? Why do I feel like I need to be protecting things? I start to spin my hand like this. And I'm unweaving or unveiling what the focus is on a baby and delivering the baby. And the body starting to come back to an ease with its, itself again. Without the responsibility of the growth and development of a baby. <clears throat> it's a lot of effort. And there's a sensation of having a like forgetfulness and somehow waking up and remembering and we're starting to appear in a whole new scene and this is quite beautiful and it's lush and there's flowers that are full of light here and the flowers are resting upon very shallow water the water is like teal color and so we're in in what is like a cave but it's beautiful in this cave and these beautiful glowing flowers and the beautiful colored water and it's just shallow and it's warm it's comfortable here there seems to be a glow about the cave everywhere it seems mysterious it seems um magical I'm ta talking to your body right now. And I'm circulating consciousness here. And I'm circulating focus in the process. And I'm circulating focus on the delivery of the baby. I'm circulating focus. So your consciousness, your spirit, the spirit of your baby, your body, all of these interchanging parts, right? Um, that they're all working in harmony with one another. And I, I could only describe it as it is safe to, to release the baby. It is safe for your body to open up and for the baby to be born. It is safe. Some parts of your body are almost like wanting to talk or wanting to focus on things that aren't of the highest, um, it's the top of the list here. It's more like, um, let's make sure the dishes don't fall and break. Or what is that shaking all about? Well, of course, you're give, having birth. You're, you're delivering a baby. Oh, oh yeah, I, I'm not sure why I wasn't um, aware of that. <laughs> And I say, but you are aware of that. You have been aware of that. And you've been ready for this. You were re ready for this weeks ago. What is it that um, you're avoiding here in this process? And I'm talking to, you have many parts of your body that have consciousness that are part of this. And some are like ready and some are resisting. So parts that are kind of, acting like they've been asleep or they're not really sure what's going on. We're waking them up and we're facing this. They have already been awake and facing this. So we're going to release more and more and more of any kind of illusionary veils that they've been creating. Like it's time to face reality. Time to face reality. Reality is beautiful. Reality is exciting. Reality is good. <sighs> can only describe it as I'm supporting Gabriel um, in the in the scene in my mind I'm showing the body how this works I'm showing the body what this looks like I'm showing the body that the baby is going to gently be born that this is a beautiful process this is a safe process you're doing a wonderful job body you're doing a wonderful job mother you're doing a wonderful job 
mentally, emotionally, physically. Gabriel, you're doing a wonderful job. And so I keep sending images of how this process works and that you're doing a wonderful job and baby's here, now baby's here. And we move the baby through and we move the baby through. <sighs> waking up, waking up, waking up. You're doing a wonderful job. Okay, I'm going to pay attention to some of these other scenes here. I'm going to go back to that cave space. It was warm and comfortable there. The glowing flowers, I really liked it there. Again, I feel motivated when I'm here. I feel motivated to, um, to introduce your body, to introduce all the many consciousness here to imagery and conversation about what we're achieving here, what we're accomplishing. It's interesting because the body intuitively knows what to do, but it has it has parts of itself that are panicking in the process. So it's pretty natural for us to consciously know things that subconsciously there's different reactions to it. And then everything that we are in all of time, plus the process of being human in this present time, plus the pain that we have to endure in this, plus the many mothers in the collective process and on and on and on. So what we're doing here is getting you aligned with this this in the most harmonious and bright, angelic, beautiful way. The strongest and most comfortable way. And we're doing this as a gift for you. We're doing this as a gift for Gabriel. Doing this as a gift for the Father. Doing this as a gift for everybody in the family. Doing this as a gift for everybody in the world and all mothers and all fathers. And the gift of creation. I want to go back and the original scene and take a look at the mysterious weight and that mysterious energy and the sort of the opening of the ground. Curious about that. But maybe it's um, maybe we've moved into so much here that it's doesn't doesn't um, play a role at this point. So I'm just kind of looking at everything. So I say, all right, God, so this is where we're at so far in this process. <sighs> helping you to feel grounded, helping you to feel harmonious, relaxed, helping your body to be fully awakened and embracing of the process, helping to calm your mind and your senses, helping you to feel more flow, more balance, Helping your body to open up to the delivery. Helping Gabriel feel safe. Helping you feel safe. I'm hitting a point where I feel like completely and utterly exhausted. We're just gonna let this happen, okay? I mean, who knows? Maybe you're resting in between contractions right now. It's possible. Because right now, it's like night-night time. <laughs> so we're just gonna let that happen because that's rehabilitation. That's helping your body. All right, I'm going to stay in that state with you, helping to in, um, empower a sense of, um, in a way, rest, complete sleep, even rest. And so I'm going to let that happen. And then let's just see in everything so far, God, where are we at in all of this? What do we need to do next to support this process? God's asked me to go back to the original scene where you're grounded here. And interestingly enough, I'm not sure why that was the beginning, but um, 
I'm kind of disconnecting the anchor sensation and I'm lifting you up and out of the water and now I'm taking you on to land you're sleeping I mean you're straight up snore level sleeping and we're at a beach and there's a beautiful little hut like it's adorable it's like a tiki hut and there's a cute little bed in here the right amount of shade the right temperature beautiful cool breeze it's not cold by any means it's refreshing access to as much water as you need to drink I'm just lying you down in this bed you're sleeping There's a lot of subconscious communication. It's really silent right now as receiving of information. So I'm going to ask Gabriel how he's doing. <laughs> he's excited to be born. I mean, this, his energy vibrates with excitement, actually. He doesn't feel sleepy at all. He see, feels curious, um, adventurous, excited. He feels ready. He say, seems to be sending you information that he's very excited. He's very, very excited um, about today. He's very excited about these change, changes. He's not um, afraid. He's not uh, in a state of resistance. He's not fearful of being born. He's excited to be born. He feels like he wants to be born to nurture you, whereas you want to nurture him. He wants to nurture you. And something he feels conflicted about is how, how are you to understand each other and how is he to communicate with you um, to help reach you even right now? to help reach you, even to nurture you right now as he's being born. It's like, wow, what a perspective. He's wanting to take care of you in the process of being born so that he can take care of you some more. And he's just a little baby. How interesting. He's uh, full of life. His, he, he, he keeps um, his heart's really full of sound. And it keeps emanating sound in every single direction in order to reach you and let you know that he's excited. His soul's very, very excited. His soul's so excited. I think that the moment he's born, obviously baby's got to breathe. They probably might cry a little bit, but he's going to be so just and on the top of the world to be in your arms. You're still resting. I mean, you are completely passed out. Like, you are snore level sleeping. Still in this cute tiki hut. And God's showing me as you wake up, you're going to start to appear under the water again, um, anchored and grounded and safe. And the water energy is going to support you in this birthing process. And it seems like aquatic fish, the energy of aquatic fish are helping you as well. I mean, they keep glowing, they emanate sound and color, but they seem kind of mindlessly moving about. They're just like regular old fish underwater, but they seem to be um, sending you energy to help you. I'm going to go visit what the mysterious energy is now, just so we can find out <laughs> what that's all about. Just curious. It looks like a, a giant being, like a head and neck, shoulders and everything and in a bit of a, an abyss, but it's not that far down, but it's definitely in a deeper part of the water here. And it's made out of really dark gray with sparkles. Almost black, but not black. It's more like dark gray. And I look into its face. And I say, what, what, who are you? It 
It's hard to understand its response. It just seems to be curious and watching right now. It just seems like it's, it's just curious. And I say, why don't you, you come and say hello? Why don't you come in closer instead of kind of hiding and peering out? And you're a giant being. Being is really nervous. Really, really nervous. Really nervous. Is this the father, maybe? I'm not sure. <laughs> maybe the father feels really nervous for you right now. I think that's pretty normal. I say she's doing a really good job. And she's resting in a tiki hut right now. But as she wakes up, she's going to appear here. And all this water energy is going to support her. It seems, it seems nervous about everything you're having to go through. And I think, I think curious is definitely a part of it, but feeling nervous too. And I say, why don't you hold her hand? Because there's a mirage of your being that's still here. But you aren't waking up just yet. But we're going to move forward in time to when you're here. And then he's going to hold your hand. And I feel like this would be the father of the baby. He's really nervous. <laughs> so I'm touching his heart and I'm telling him that everything's going to be okay. It's, it's true though. Everything is going to be okay. And don't separate yourself from, from this, please. Maybe it's hard to know how to be present because it's a bit much. I'm sure. A bit startling. And then I have his hand touch Gabriel. And Gabriel's really excited as well. And feels it in his heart. And I reaches back. And I can tell that you feel this in your heart too. And your heart starts to glow. You, your heart is made out of sunlight. And you have a lot of strength inside of you. And you're starting to realize what a strong woman you are. A strong mother. A strong giver, a bearer of creation, a family, a part of a family. I'm going to bring in the energy of ancestors so that you can feel consciously present with, there's more here than just physical people. There's the energy, the consciousness of the ancestors. It's just a golden ring of light and consciousness. We're going to bring in angels. And I see that there's something um, good about this, you resting in the tiki hut and the sensation of the energy of earth or land and the you that is still a bit of a mirage but coming to a more of a grounded sensation here anchored into the water as well seems to be a good balance here between the energy or element of water and the element of earth 
And you seem strongly uh, grounded in both worlds right now. I don't see anything of that aura that was sort of peeled like a banana that's all disappeared. You're really focused and you're strong in your own... I mean, this is a process, you're focusing on this process, you're doing your life's work here. I mean, you literally are doing a part of your life's work here. You're delivering a baby. It's your life's work. It's part of being a mother. You're doing your life's work, you're doing a good job, and you're focusing. You're focusing. You, your focus is really strong right now. <sighs> Man, I feel like we we have moved leagues ahead of where we began. And I don't experience... The sleep is more like your body taking in the rest and the recovery that it needs between contractions. That is the right kind of sleep. Otherwise, it's like I'm sleeping and avoiding the fact that I'm actually going to give a birth to a baby today. So getting those parts of you to wake up and be on board and now we're zeroed in in this process. And I'm helping to feel the bond and connection with love and family, um, mom, dad, baby, um, feeling in the excitement. You're doing a really good job. You're supported. Um, feeling anchored and grounded, working with the elements of the water and the elements of the earth. And you feel really balanced. <laughs> so I'm glad I could do this for you today. I'm really excited. <laughs> I can't wait for updates. And thank you. Thank you very much for blessing my life with this and for sharing with us here on YouTube. All right. Thank you, everybody, also for watching, for your love and support. Hope you all have a great day.